Well, folks, today we got Andrew Tate's situation. His ex came out and spilled the beans. We got a massive clip. We also are hearing about GTA 6 trailer. And we got a lot of disasters. A lot of people rolling their fat doobies. They cannot even process this information. And we're gonna get right into the story. Let's go for maybe two likes on the video. And coming in at our number 12 spot. Our first story is about Andrew Tate's ex. This is what she said. Roll it. If you don't live under a rock, then I'm pretty sure you know that um, Andrew Tate has been arrested for human trafficking and <coughs> which is absolutely absurd, simply for the reasons that it's absolutely false. I have lived with Andrew for years and years, and he would never do anything like this, ever. Some people are also saying that Andrew Tate might have paid for those lips. Bruh. It is still an ongoing situation, obviously he ended up getting a 10 star wallet level and they're investigating and we have to see more because the top G himself has said pretty controversial stuff on a live stream. It is so false, it's so false that it's upsetting, even though we're no longer together, it upsets me because I know the person I have lived with, I know who he is, and he is neither of those things. But if this reply is really legit, man, I got huge respect for her because the fact that she's his ex and the fact that she didn't play that victim card, the fact that she did didn't use this situation to her advantage the fact that she didn't kick him down while in a way he's already kind of down yeah but killer keemstar reported by saying that the romanian authorities have seized andrew tate's bugatti and his other vehicles then drop a correction by saying that it's been reported that they will be seized this week a one man says that he couldn't handle it anyway now i know we're talking about killer keemstar out there Bruh. but if this is really true all andrew gotta do is call morse mutual insurance company okay smash the like button for the big tubes but this following story got a lot of talk Toxic masculinity. Roll it. Huh? You start annoying me. What? I try to relax. No, but what are you doing? I you try to relax. So shut up. Okay, I'm gonna tell stuff. Because you're a f***ing idiot. Huh? What? What? Oh. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna call the police yeah. if you do this. Yeah. What the f***? Police. Not just me. The, okay, the guy, this is not normal, chat. This is not normal. What the f And the way he's running it reminds me of starting of a Call of Duty Zombies round, like, uh. This is not normal. Not normal if I do that. I mean, that's wild. Not only that we caught toxic masculinity on camera, at one point the chat was giving her tips to press X to run as well. The chat was also saying he's coming. Some people are also saying this is scripted. And the context of the situation that we're hearing from Officer Lucky here is that the man initially invited her to sit with him with a seemingly inappropriate gesture earlier in the stream. Then after being rejected, he ran her down. She also apparently called the Babylon, the, the Popo, and after after the police showed up the older man will be spending one night in jail and be facing a small fine i mean that's a that's definitely a small w also apparently we have this valorant streamer who is just 11 years old and he was caught live streaming over on twitch but the thing here is that he was streaming with his parents now apparently he broke the tos and twitch doesn't allow 11 year old to streams and it's quite understandable but here he has his entire family he, he got his parents and he's live streaming at the age of 11 years old he's making that bread Meanwhile, you're just sitting down there eating and munching on Doritos. Okay, you need to do 10 push-ups right now. Okay, you need to wake up. Smash the like button for the motivational schizzle. And I need your thoughts on this situation because we know for the fact that there are Twitch thoughts out there. They are showing not just their bobs and vagina. They're live streaming dead ass. Twitch has made the entire category a special category for the bad stuff streams. Meanwhile, we have this kiddo out here streaming with his parents. This is literal family friendly stream. You cannot get any family friendlier than that got his family around streaming and playing Valorant which is uh, also uh, technically a family friendly game I mean you know what I'm saying but this wholesome family friendly stream gets shot down by twitch but not the the twitch baddies that are trying to deplete men's energy that are trying to get men to do helicopters with their release yep man it's always the family friendly content that gets shot down over on the internet yeah man shout, shout out to twitch for that but on a real note though another argument here is that bro you are 11 years old my guy okay at least you're a 50 year old i'm assuming uh, no hate but it seems like that you're old enough uh, to understand that this is not a good way it seems like that the parents just wanted a paycheck okay that they just wanted to use their kid to make their money i mean damn bro he's 11 years old let him run around the park let him play with the toys around okay they must have taken his childhood away dog we also have a god of our dev and he shared this video roll it yeah one two three 
Here we go. Turn up. Turn up. Turn up. Meanwhile, we have this kid opening up his present, and this is what he does at the end. Roll it. This not what I wanted. Oh, oh. What the hell? <laughs> I'm telling y'all, man, these kids need that that ass moving, okay? Like also, speaking of gaming, gaming is dry as hell, ladies and gentlemen. Yup, this is exactly why I'm playing these clips, but this one is a special one okay you are all gonna be smashing that like button if you think you're not gonna be smashing that like button you are wrong okay you think i'm wrong you are wrong play this clip and you will be smashing like roll it <laughs> ladies and gentlemen this is how activision treated call of duty fans in 2022 nope. <laughs> bro <laughs> i'm telling y'all man you better smash the like button but check this out ladies and gentlemen we also ended up getting some GTA 6. Highest gameplay in real life. Roll it. It looks like that take to deploy that Babylon in search for that kid that actually ended up leaking that GTA 6 gameplay, okay? We're gonna be getting to that real GTA 6 trailer news in just a second. But the last was part three rumors look shaky as Druckmann wants to be wary of insider information. And the situation here is that he came out and he ended up tweeting by saying that, uh, bro, happy new year, peeps. As always, thank you so much for the incredible sport. We got a lot of cool stuff coming next year that we cannot wait to share with y'all. P.S. Be wary of the insider info much of it it is false deal and right after that there were a lot of people that ended up catching the big herpes there were a lot of people especially the the last of us two fans that love seeing joel be sent to the last of us two heaven with that with that golf club by the abby the brock lesnar they are all big mad okay they are all big mad they are all looking like this assuming that we might not be getting the last of us part three but on a real note though yeah uh, we should be wary about the rumors and the leaks that are going around but I'm pretty positive that we're gonna be getting Last of Us 3 eventually, okay? Is it gonna be like 5 years from now? Is it gonna be 10 years from now? I'm not sure, but it's gonna happen. So you don't have to be disappointed. Maybe they are trying to just put out a Last of Us Part 2 remake for $80 first. <laughs> <laughs> Ubisoft massive Star Wars game will be announced this year, director suggest, and yep, he ended up uh, dropping a uh, happy new year to you all. 2023 is going to be huge for us. Uh, join the adventure. And he ended up dropping the Star Wars image, and it really feels like that this is gonna be the year, guys. And not that it's gonna be the year of uh, Star Wars, but it's also gonna be the year of GTA 6. We're gonna be getting to that story right after this one, because we have a homeboy straight from the hood, okay? What you're witnessing is straight from the hood, homeboy ended up pressing r3 and l3 to activate this ability most of you guys cannot even do that okay like y'all i mean if only today's boxers could have pressed l3 and r3 like this man out here boxing could have been really entertaining smash the like button if you agree but also in the news coming in at our number two spot gta 6 will be announced in 2023 insider strongly believes now i have already made a dedicated video on this one but essentially tom anderson that originally leaked the fact that gta 6 is going to be having one female and one male protagonist it's going to be Vice City modern day, right before we actually had that gameplay leak. He is now saying that the GTA 6 trailer is going to be this year and the release is going to be in 2024 and 2025. And I do know that some of you will be looking like this. Some of you will be like, nah, man, that, 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 that's actually cap. There, there is no way we're going to be getting GTA 6 ever in our life. We're only going to be getting it in 2077. I said that GTA 6 will be released in either 2024 or 2025, which is a firm date I strongly still believe is happening. A 2023 announcement would line up with these years perfectly, especially if you're familiar with how Rockstar Games and Take-Two have generally handled their game announcements and releases in the past. This remains to be seen. Hopefully, we're not going to be saying that. The trailer is going to be coming out in 2024. By the end of 2023, hopefully, it happens this year. But Rockstar also ended up teasing GTA 6 pretty hard with some images. Click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left where this Andrew Tate situation ended up getting exposed and the rabbit hole gets really deep. We got some real conspiracy stuff. Click either one and I will see you right there.